The survey results are in for the Brainerd Public Schools Long Range Facilities Plan. Sarah Winkleman has the details. The long-term facilities plan is taking a look at space, health, safety, and security issues within Brainerd schools. A six-phase process, an extensive communications plan, to listening sessions both internally and throughout the community, which we've held well over a hundred different meetings and presentations so far. And we went to surveys and assessments that were available and now what we're doing is collecting all of the data and moving forward and I will bring forth a recommendation to the Board of Education at the end of the month. The scientific survey was conducted with community members specifically chosen for a valid sample. A total of 400 residents completed the survey over the phone. More than 1,300 area residents took the unscientific internet survey that was available to anyone with a computer. The phone survey conducted that 86% agree that the community receives good value from its investments in its public schools. People really believe we have the highest quality education to our learners here, and this scientific survey supported that. 89% of the participants from the phone survey rated teachers or other instructional staff at good or excellent. We have the best and the brightest staff in our district and that 89% was off the charts and it was something that made me extremely proud. All of the 12 schools in the district are being assessed separately to see what the priorities are for each building. We're just right now prioritizing and weighing out the pros and cons. By creating three categories for each building, must do items, should do items, and items that they would like to do. For parents and employees, the top three include technical education, school security, and more technology access. We want to do it in partnership to provide the best educational excellence possible. A partnership with the community that the schools hope will remain throughout the process. Reporting in Brainerd, Sarah Winkleman, Lakeland News. Now the superintendent hopes to have a plan in place by December 11th to move forward. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.